всегда все идет как всегда За рулем я в машине сижу Каждый шаг неизвестен, все как тогда На девчонок вчерашних гляжу Бросить все и послать все к чертям Разрулить, что смогу к сентябрю А потом, ну и пусть, загрузить мою грусть Пусть болит, пока я докурю Оглянись на прощание Удивись снова, как всегда Результат твоего внимания Мне удержать так нелегко Так поддержи ты меня Оглянись на прощание Удивись снова, как всегда Результат твоего внимания мне удержать так нелегко, так поддержи ты меня. Оглянись на прощание. Did you get it? He dismissed me to the library to finish my term paper. Oh, the same for me. Screw it, two term papers for me. He says I know everything on the internet by heart. We just had bad luck with a teacher. He's a sucker. He's not a sucker, he's a dick. Hey, girls. I know who we need. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Let's make her our friend. We'll take her to the club and she'll work for us. She's not stylish at all. This black ship is the smartest one in the class. And she has no friends. Who's going to hang out with her? She doesn't even smoke. Doesn't smoke? Girls, trust my experience. She'll get us through this semester. I don't know. I'd rather write my own term paper than take her to the club with me. Whatever. I'm going to approach her. <laughs> Good afternoon. What are you studying? Latin. Latin? We took it when we were freshmen. I do it for myself. Um, anyway, <laughs> we just decided to make you one of us. <laughs> and can I even wonder why? Why? Well, let me guess. You probably thought the following. Now we will be friends with this nut job, and then she will write out our term papers. Ah, were you spying on us? Girls, don't waste your time. Sisa peace, sisa peace. What did she say? She kind of beat us up, girls. <laughs> Come here, four eyes. How do you translate sisapis, sisapis? Uh, if you are smart, be as hardworking as a bee. Is it? Yes. <laughs> yeah? Come on, go on. What a dick. She sure did. How do you feel about taking a weekend off from your labor exploits? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how not to work. Ooh. But I guess in a positive way. There. Oh, good morning. Is he here? Jean, Marty's here to see you. Mm, thanks, veteran. I uh, can't believe are. that my big-headed son is still playing ball. Hello, Mom. Hello, Martha. So everything's mm -hmm. decided. Then I'm off to make arrangements. You look beautiful. Mm-hmm. Flatterer. <laughs> What's going on, Mom? Why would you say that? 
Can't I just show up at your work like this? I mean, come on. No, I'm just glad to see you. Mm -hmm. I hope so. I'm here on business. So when are you going to grow up? Still playing ball? Mom, it's not just a ball. <sighs> the net is the goal. Just imagine. So I take the basketball. I try to calculate my strength, thinking about everything I have to go through along the way. Next, you throw the ball. You know what I mean? I'm going to make it. I'm going to get my goal. Blabbermouth. I found you a bribe. Yeah. Or maybe, once again, you found this me a bribe. This is the file. Look, beautiful, smart, wealthy, good family. What more do you want, really? Well, she's probably not wealthy, but her dad is. And she's a good spender. Plus, stylist, makeup artist, a little silicone. Don't project. <laughs> Mom, if I wake up with a woman like that by my side... You need to take it seriously. She comes from a good family. As your favorite son-in-law says, never marry money. You're listening to Igor. What does he know? My sister made sure he became an expert in the subject. Ridiculous. I have to talk to him, but you have to get married. Mom, calm down. Please, let me decide. What should I do or shouldn't I do? Really, when? Tell me when. You're gonna be 30 soon. I don't know. We can't predict. Jean, you're not getting out of this marriage. Just know that. Okay. Bye, Mom. Bye-bye, Blabbermouth. Good job. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, honey. Lara, where did you come from? We didn't even hear you come in. And I'm here specifically to find out what you're doing here. Lara, what are you talking about? Why are your eyes looking down? Why do you think that? Igor, you don't need me anymore, right? No thanks, Lana. Mm -hmm. You can leave now. Yeah, okay. What? What? Running away? Scared, huh? She was working, by the way. We were going through documents. Yes, of course. I saw where your hands were. You were hugging her! You mean Lana? Yeah! Don't go crazy and don't get yourself all worked up. I beg you! I can't believe it! You're driving me crazy! You and your mistress! No, oh, well, if I'm wrong, then fire her. I wouldn't think of it. So now you're defending her, aren't and don't you? shout. Everyone can hear you. Yes, of course. There's no one in the waiting room except your mistress. So that's it. I'm leaving you. And I'm taking Mike with me. Don't you dare taking Mike away. Or what? Are you scared, huh? I'm not going to fulfill your stupid whims anyway. What now? So now you're confessing? There's nothing to confess. Do you hear me? Nothing. Hello. Hi. Is Leonid here? He went off to get some stuff. What stuff? I don't know. I'm not supposed to know. When will he come back? He didn't report to me. Gary. When are you going to report me to Walters? Here we go. On the rising moon. When is it, Gary? Do you know what he's going through? I'm afraid I won't make it. Why do you need Walters? What do you mean, why? It seems to me that I was made to live another life, a beautiful one. I can't always stay in this dusty store. Besides, you're his best friend. 
I work for him. And I'm almost a friend. You can tell the difference, can't you? Not really. What's the difference? Almost are the best. All right, I'll introduce you. On some occasion. Okay. Tell him I stop by. Sophie, wait. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. I'll give you a ride. I have a guard today. Oh, don't lean, I'll manage. Well, say yes, and meanwhile, we can talk. Tamara. Ta Tamara, listen to me. Let's stop this useless conversation. You know your daughter's candidacy does not suit me or Polly at all. That's right. He doesn't need a student wife. Girls don't need college degrees. That's right, Mom. However beautiful she is. Mm. My Polly, a musician. He needs good living conditions. So I'm sorry, I think this is not gonna work. Forgive me for being so blunt. I don't have time to do anything stupid, so goodbye. <laughs> That's it. I'm crossing that one down. That's right, Mom. Then she'll sit on my neck, she'll dangle her feet, and I'll have to feed her. I don't think she's a match either, do Not you? Not a match. Well, 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 moving on to the next candidate, all right. But it's not a very visible option. Mom, if it's not good, let's not even waste our time. No, wait. She's not bad at all. She's a student too, but she has an apartment. She lives with her mother, my former acquaintance. How does she look? She cute? What? Don't you know? The main thing is the right personality. She's just like her mother. Modest, strong. Therefore, she's not confused in a difficult moment. A nice catch, you know? As the folks say anyway, I'm calling her... Her fiancé. Her mother. Oh, all right. Hello? Irene. Hello, darling. It's me. Am I interrupting something? How can you say that, Mary? How are you doing? How's Polly doing, huh? Polly's such a hard worker, of course. <laughs> he doesn't go to the factory, but as a mother, I am proud of him. He's talented. That's right. He needs to be taken care of. But I'm not eternal, Irene, so started looking for a worthy bride. That's why I called you. Irene, I would be very happy if Polly go visit you. He doesn't know you're Sophie yet. Mm -mm. She's not married, is she? Well, not yet. Um, come, of course. You can even come today. Irene, you're a saint. We'll be at your place at eight. See you there. Success? You should wear your gray suit. Mm -hmm. That jacket looks so good on you. Mm -hmm. Um, should I bring the guitar? Not yet. Mm -mm, on. <laughs> Come on. Mom! <laughs> I think Igor is cheating on me. <laughs> with whom? I think with his assistant. <laughs> are you sure or are you imagining it? I think I'm sure. <laughs> That's it. Stop crying. You'll ruin your face. Mom, don't you understand? I don't care about my face at all. But you have to save face in every situation. Did you catch them? I went into his office. And? And he was there with his secretary. And? Standing around and pretending to discuss some documents. <laughs> Lara, did they have their clothes on? I think so. God, I can't hear I think anymore. <laughs> and what makes you think Igor is cheating on you? Well, because he was acting so weird and he refuses to fire her. I'm sure you're just tired of each other. Where's Mikey? I think he is... 
That's cool. So that's it. You just need a break from each other. Why don't we take Mikey? And then you can stay with Jean for a while. Why him? It'll be good for Jean to have his nephew around. Mikey is such a sweet boy without any I thinks, and maybe Jean would like to have a child one day himself. That's right, Mom. All you ever think about is your Jean. You don't care about me. Oh, come on, <laughs> silly. I love you both. All right, come on. Pack it up. Come on, let's get out of here for a while. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll have my first driving lesson tomorrow. Really? Mm hmm Did you take the training course? Mm hmm Maybe I'm going to be able to afford a car someday. Sophia, aren't you bored of living like this? How so? You study and work, work and study. And when do you have fun? <laughs> you don't have any friends. Why not? I have a friend. Yeah, who? Mom. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Oh, look. It's his car. Who's Carlina? Now tell me where have we stopped? Sophie, let's go. He's probably Lina, I'm not going anywhere. Me. Let's go just for a Lina, second. That's it. I'm late. Come Lina. on. Maybe Walters is sitting there. Who's Walters? Don't you know who's Jean Walters? No, I don't know who Walters is. Sophie, he's rich, handsome, and single. <laughs> Come on. Ah, an inviolable groom. Lena. Oh. Lena, look. It says closed here. I know, what a bummer. <sighs> Lena, look, please, I want to leave, I'm in a hurry. So what have you decided? Do we take this shipment? Yes, we do. Okay, I'll make the contract myself. Sophie, oh my god, it's Walters. <sighs> Lena, I'm in a hurry, I'm asking you, please. Lena, the rich always arouse curiosity and never justify it. Sophie, now he's gonna look out the window and see me, and he's gonna like me. <laughs> Lena, I'll go. What a bore, Sophie. Wait for me! I went to this place. There's some chicks there. And here they are. You want to see? They are nice. No. I'm not interested anymore. Not in waitresses, models, strippers, and other beautiful creatures. Are you? Yes, I had fun. What do you think of this beauty? Doesn't she make your heart tickle? She works there. Hello, yes, Mom. Jean, just don't say no. What? I Another bride on the way? No, Igor hurt Lara, and we decided that she and Mikey should stay with you for a while. What? Mom, I'm never home. Why not at your place? I think the boy needs a man's influence. He's just five. That's right, five. Read him a story, take him somewhere. To the zoo, for instance. The boy still hasn't even seen a cow. Or an elephant, for that matter. There are no cows at the zoo. Oh, stop exaggerating. It's settled. 
You're going to spend time with your nephew now. Tell me. What is his mother doing in the meantime? She needs to come to her senses to get some rest. Son, you make sure you come home tonight. There is no question about that. I already know where I'm taking you tonight. Ready? Jean, can you hear me? I just got stuck with my sister and nephew. Lara had a fight with Igor, blew his brains out, and now she wants to do the same to me. I see. So you're going home tonight. Lame. Mm. With my family. Congratulations. The girls will go crazy when I tell them about Walters. Lena, what are you going to tell them? How you peeked and looked through the keyhole? It's not something to be proud of. You're just like my mom. Lena, listen. You have to act in a way that makes you proud. Brilliant. Well, your mom's right. Sophie, don't you understand? I had a real chance to meet Walters today. My friends will go crazy. <sighs> God, you guys are weird. Are we? You're the weird one. You're like a black sheep in our class. Tell me, don't you want to be Walter's wife? Mm -mm. I'm making real plans. Don't you have dreams? Yeah, it's money. Diamonds. Where would you spend that kind of money? I would buy new shoes. Are you an idiot? No. I just think I can only spend what I've earned myself. <laughs> Stop right there, please. Thank you for the ride. to be so smart to be so boring and stupid. You don't have children, do you? I don't think so. A few seconds ago, we could have died. What would have been left of us on this earth? A wet spot. Yeah. Thirty years. No kids. No wife. No one to leave a legacy to. Alive? I saw the whole thing. I wrote down that jerk's license plate number. Thank you. Uh, he's probably stoned. Does anyone have any water? Oh, thank God they're fine. Oh, 
Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Maybe. I'm going to be baptized you think? tomorrow Maybe for sure. Scary. We have to see a doctor. <sighs> have some you get baptized, not just right now, and I get married. Later. We have to see a doctor. Thank you. <sighs> Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Sophie, I want to tell you something. What? Keith? Well, now you started it, then tell me. But now I want to offer you an exercise. It'll be easy. You want to be a writer, don't you? I do. Well, look, I read a story about your trip to Mars. I really liked it, but you have a lot of unnecessary words. Is it that bad? No, why would it be? Now I'm going to read you a sentence. And you're going to figure out which word is redundant here, okay? See, the boy leaned his elbows on the table. Keith? Keith, focus, please. Why are you so distracted today? Sophie, listen. Yeah? I love you. Uh. I will grow up and marry you. Sophie, you know, we are so grateful to you, really. Svetlana, I'm sorry, but I won't be able to study with Keith anymore. Why? Okay, look, we can pay you more, you know? Keith has gotten so good at it. He's even reading books. I'm sorry, I can't. Keith is going through puberty. If you can send him to a summer camp, let him socialize with his peers. I don't understand what happened. I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. Explain Tell it Keith to that me. that he's, um, the best student I've ever had. So you're getting married? Hmm? Well, you have to figure out what kind of wife you want. I think you want a model. A model? And a millionaire's daughter. No, we need to love each other. We need her to love me, not my money. It's a difficult task, and almost impossible to solve. You will understand that only after the wedding. And I also want her... to be kind and honest. Impatient. Uh-huh. We'll look for it. Sov? Hello, Mommy. Hello. What is it? What's wrong? Why so sad? Why are you so down, huh? Mom. Not now. I had to give up my lessons with Keith. How so? We plan to use the money to buy you I shoes. couldn't have done it any okay, other way. Okay, okay. I know. You're a reasonable girl. Okay, that's okay. I'll put up bads for tutoring. We'll get out of it. Sure we will. Come on, go change and... 
go to the living room. Mom, I'm tired. I know, but do you remember Mary? Yes, your old friend. She's with her son. Come on, come on, we're waiting for you. Thank you. Okay, Gary, enough. Stop messing around, look at the contract. I can't. I'm working out an algorithm. Which one? Finding your wife. You asked for it. And I think I've got it all figured out. Operation... Watermelon Peel. Sounds very intriguing. Yes, I'm getting creative with this. So we scatter watermelon peels mm. while we sit in an ambush. You don't have to go any further. No, listen to me. That one that slips and falls and doesn't curse is ours. That's the one. And there's an ambulance standing next to it. So we'll put the whole town in a cast. And why do I need a wife with a broken neck? Well, yes. Let's make it clear. Here's the plan. The one that falls gracefully and doesn't kill herself. All right, creative. Go over the contract and go home. <sighs> okay, <sighs> fine. Oh, honey, um, this salad's very tasty. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sophie. Mm. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, you've grown up, Sophie. I remember you were so little. You were a very obedient girl. Come on, here, Sophie. Let me give you a hug. Oh. I'm so pleased to see. This is Polly. He is Mary's Hello. son. N nice to meet you. Sophie is at the pedagogical college, studying languages. <sighs> Mom, it's not a feat. It's just studying. Oh, <laughs> Sophie. Uh, let's try the fish, shall we? Sit down. Yes, let's eat. <laughs> Sophie, wine? Um, yes, please. Spread it out, Polly. Uh -huh. Oh, pay attention to this. He's going to cut the fish. I think the cooking is all that matters in seafood. Yes. Thank you. For me too, sweet. Yes, of course. Be careful with the spines. Don't hurt your throat. <laughs> sure, Mom. I I'll be attentive. Polly writes such beautiful songs, and he plays them himself. I think he's very good. Of course. Mom. That's why he needs to take care of his throat. Sophie, do you hear that? Polly writes songs. Mom, I do. Paul, tell me, where do you work? I, I am. Uh, um... uh, Paul's need time to create. It's not easy, you know. Yeah, that. Sophie, please help me get the dessert, please. <laughs> Excuse us. We're doing fine. Mom, don't worry. why are you doing this? Uh, that's it. That's it, okay? Like a little kid, honestly. Yeah, like I'm, I'm a little kid. I'm with you. <laughs> it's so fun! I love this game! Uh, my kid, honey, please calm down. Stop jumping all over the place. Look, Grandma! Uncle Jimmy's here! Hello. Granny and I are playing something. I am Spider-Man and she's a cop. And you're going to be the Green Goblin. What do you think? I am so glad you finally arrived. I am already exhausted. Mikey has so much energy, doesn't he? <laughs> Granny, catch up! We've been playing catch up for a couple of hours now. I just don't have the energy to keep up. Wasn't it enough to trash my apartment? Don't worry, I called the maid for tomorrow. She'll clean everything up. Uh, where's Lara? Lara's in the bathroom. She'll be out in about two hours. She needs to recover. You put Mike to bed at nine and read him a story. I put the book on the table next to the bed. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it as well. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to catch him. Well, do your best. I have to go. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> I'll catch you! Walter sat in this table. And in this place. 
<laughs> Walters. <laughs> Who would have thought Walters would be drinking coffee here? Guys, this is really our chance. I'd be happy to stay here day and night. <laughs> right? And this fool, she didn't even look at him. Can you imagine? Why should she look at him? Where is Walters and where is she? Hey, girls. It would be fun to get them together, wouldn't it? <laughs> Take care of yourself first. Well, girls, cheers to us. I beg you, have mercy. Giving up? Ha! <laughs> I give up. Oh, Mike. Uh, you don't have any easier games like the ones you play in kindergarten? I'm the bunny and you're the wolf. Catch me! It's the same thing. Okay, well, I'll catch you. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm the gray wolf. You're mine. <laughs> Ah. Ah um, I'm gonna eat you! Ah. You guys are getting pretty loud. Mommy, please tell me. When are we going home? Are you unhappy with Uncle Gene? I want my daddy! Come on! No, we're going to stay with Uncle Gene and stop whining. You're a big boy now. Lara, where are you going? Where to? I'm meeting my friends. I had to tell them what a jerk Igor was. Uh, what about Mike? I've made all the arrangements. Take him to bed at nine. And the babysitter is coming in the morning. That's it, brother. Goodbye. <laughs> Be careful. You'll ruin my makeup. <sighs> Mike! So, Mike, what are we playing now? Sophie, you asked a tactless question. Why? Isn't tactful. Holly doesn't work anywhere officially because he needs time to create. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I didn't know that. And then, Mom, can't you see what Polly is like? He's a puppet sitting on his mother's neck. Careful with that. Don't be so radical if I were you. I'd better take a closer look at Polly. So that's what these guests are all about. The dear friends made a matchmaking party. Sophie. It's time to arrange your personal life, and Polly is from a good family. Well, Mom. Bred. He only loves himself. Don't jump to conclusions. Don't you see? He's playing for an audience. Look how good my manners are. I'm a good boy. Don't be silly. Let's go eat some pie and listen to Polly's songs. It's okay, Mom. I'll give him a try. Let's go. <laughs> Good girl. What story do you want me to read you? But I don't want to sleep. I want to play, Uncle Gene. So, Mike, Mom said you had to go to bed at 9. It's 9 o'clock sharp. So it's either a fairy tale or bedtime. All right. I want a fairy tale, then. Ah, let me see. Once upon a time, there was a king, and he had three sons. When the sons became adults, the king gathered them together and said, My dear sons, as long as I'm alive, I would like to see you marry. Look at your babies, at my grandchildren. The sons answered their father, Well, father, give us your blessing. To whom would you like us to marry? This is what you must do. Each one will take an arrow, Go to an open field and shoot it. To see where the arrow falls, there you will find your destiny. Sophie, are you awake? 
No, Mom. I'm not going to talk about Polly. He likes you. Mary just told me. Mom, please tell me why only 13-year-old boys like Keith and puppets like Polly are attracted to me. That's why you gave up tutoring, right? Maybe that's not what I want. You're kind, smart, and well-mannered. You live right. Why am I like a black sheep? Perhaps wrong is the norm now. Baby, you're just tired. You need to get some sleep. Get some rest. I'm not sure it will, Mom. Let's go to Poldi's concert. You see, uh, I promised. All right, Mommy. We'll go. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. <laughs> solution to the problem. Let's just add it to today's realities. Where the arrow falls, there is your destiny. No, just relaxing after a stressful day. I know how to find a wife. <gasps> Operation Watermelon Peels. <laughs> Not that. Operation <laughs> Granny's Medicine. Meet me tomorrow, I'll explain everything to you. Good night. <laughs> Всегда все идет как всегда За рулем я в машине сижу Каждый шаг неизвестен Все как тогда На девчонок вчерашних гляжу Бросить все и послать все к чертям Разрулить, что смогу к сентябрю А потом, ну и пусть Загрузить мою грусть Пусть болит, пока я докурю Оглянись На прощание У Снова, как всегда, результат твоего внимания Мне удержать так нелегко, так поддержи ты меня Оглянись на прощание Granny's Medicine Part 2 Снова, как всегда, результат Твоего внимания Мне удержать так нелегко Так поддержи ты меня Оглянись на прощание Удивись снова, как всегда Ах! 
Uh, hello. Um, well, I need a old wallet. Old wallet? Yes, or something similar. <clears throat> we only offer the best to our customers. Uh, well, there are all kinds of customers. I need an old wallet. Um, how can I explain this to you? We are a prestigious store and we only sell brand name products. Do you know where I can find old looking wallets? Mm, maybe at a flea market. Oh, a flea market. Right, thank you. You're welcome. Hello. What are you looking for? Uh, I need some old worn-out wallets. Sure, they're around. We have a basket full of them. Nobody buys them. Wow. Gift for a girl, huh? Well, you might say. It's for a prank, isn't it? What? Well, he'll give you an old wallet and inside it have a beautiful diamond. That must be nice. What do you think about that? Well, a man like you can't give away an empty wallet. <laughs> I'll take these. All of them? Yes. Mm. Uh, keep the change. Let me give you a bag. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come back soon. See you later. Why do you need that wallet? <laughs> this is a prop for our operation. So we put the money, the prescription, and a note. Like this. Now you'll explain it all to me. What note? <laughs> Don't be impatient and read it. Gene, urgently buy medicine and take it to your granny. Please don't lose the money, it's all we have. <laughs> Got it? No, what medicine? W what granny? I told you yesterday, we're starting Operation Granny's Medicine today. I remember, but I don't understand. Listen, in each of these wallets, there will be a note like this. A prescription? Money, and a receipt for a phone bill with an address. I understand. Hmm. Mm. And who is this... Rodden? Don't be silly, Gary. According to the story, we are two guards, and my last name is Rodden, and I live with my granny at this address. Why so complicated? How will they know where I live? Only by the receipt in my wallet. Sounds logical. And we will take these wallets and drop them in different universities. What for? Are you serious? In a university where girls study like philosophy or nursing. Uh, what happens next? And the girls who find my wallet... Give it back to me. My medicine for my grandmother. And she becomes my wife. Genius. <laughs> Why are you I'm laughing? I'm not laughing. <laughs> Listen, did you ever think you might look like a gold digger? It seems to me that today you can turn anyone into a gold digger. But you can't do that with the soul. Uh -huh. So you want someone smart, honest, sincere, beautiful, and with a great body. Don't you think that's a lot? Yes. Keep dreaming. Well, you'll see that I'm right. <laughs> Where can we find a granny? <laughs> Do you remember Nana Lucy? She's the one who lives near your country house, no? Yes. Right, that's her. Now we're going to distribute the wallets and go to Nana's Lucy's house to convince her. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Casanova. Hello, Sophie. Hello, Lena. 
It's good not having the first two hours of classes in it. It's no good. Two hours are gone. Why are you like a robot? This is right, this is wrong, this is good, this is not Listen, good. Listen, you're the weird ones. You're chasing some guy named Walters, who probably doesn't exist, and you think that that's normal. And now you say I'm the weird one. Yeah, right. Sophie, haven't you ever liked anyone? Obviously. I liked Peter in kindergarten. Uh, 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 Be I'm careful. sorry, excuse me. <sighs> Sophie. <gasps> To my dear Sophie from Paul. I don't know how it got there. What? Listen, you'll skip classes, go to class, right? <laughs> and tell your mother you'll be in the library studying, huh? I was joking. Won't we go to your house? No, let's talk to Nana Lucy first. Lucy. Oh, hello, neighbor. Have you come to apologize? Uh, to apologize for what? You don't look after your employees well, neighbor. Uh, what have they done? They ate all the raspberries. When? Who cares? It was last year, but you didn't apologize. No, no, Lucy. Uh, please excuse me. We'll pay for everything. It was nothing. You already apologized. Uh, Nana Lucy... Gary... Help her. I'm here on business. In that case, tell me. Can I be... your grandson for a couple of days? What? We're going to stay here... for a while. Oh my god. Really? I'll pay whatever you say. What is all this? I'll pay you, I'll pay you. You think money can buy everything. I'm sorry, I'm a fool. I just really need your help. Um, okay, tell me. How can I help? Well, I'm thinking of getting married. Oh, what? Do you want me to find your girl? No, I've got something else in mind. No, no. But you'll have to stay in bed for a couple of days. Maybe have some Stay rest and bed. pretend to be sick. What? Why would I do that? I will explain everything to you. No, that's a sin. If you're sick and you're not really sick, it's a sin. That's how you can get in trouble with a lot of people. Uh, Nana Lucy, just imagine it's a job. What sin is that? All artists and actors do it anyways. How clever. That's true. Working is not a sin, there won't be much of a lie. I'm sick all over, all the time, all sick. I'm sick, very, very, very sick. Perfect, we can work for two days and then we will cure you. What do you think about that? Don't worry, we got it. Mm hmm? Sophie, wait, don't touch it. Why? No. It's somebody's wallet. What if someone lost it? It may be a prank. Someone throws a wallet, you duck, they pull a rope, and that's it. You're in the stupidest position. <laughs> what kind of nonsense Sophie. is that? Is it real? Uh-huh. Who's is it? Sophie, it's real stuff. What if we spend it? Listen, there's a prescription and a note. Jean, urgently buy medicine and take it to your granny. Please don't lose the money. It's all we have. 
there's an address listed here. How good. What's your point? Well, I can keep the money, or I'll buy the medicine and take it to the address. Sophia, are you crazy? Can you imagine what this woman is going through right now? Her grandmother is sick. Come on, give me that. I know this village. It takes about two hours by bus, at least, honey. Really? Yes. I would take you, but... My car is just being repaired. Mm, don't worry. Stay here. I'll be back. Don't move. <clears throat> That's a hundred dollars. In each wallet. It's a lot. <laughs> Nana Lucy, it doesn't matter. It's for a good cause. Wait a minute, grandson. I'll find a bride for you. You won't be disappointed. She'll be beautiful and smart. It's too late. I've already scattered all the wallets. Me too. Every single one of them. <clears throat> if you want, we can put it on hold. What do you mean? Well, we're waiting for someone to arrive. Mm -hmm. So, the Operation Grandma's Medicine is underway. Oh, wow. <gasps> <laughs> Tell us, haven't you had enough of Sophie? Listen, she found money. No way! Yeah, she found a wallet and wants to return it to a person who lives far away. I would find her use for them right away. Yeah, you bet. Oh, listen, girls. How much do you bet I can get Sophie to keep the money and she'll spend every penny of it? You can't convince her. <laughs> Wanna bet? I bet. Ty is a witness. What are you betting? For sporting interest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will take it to the mall. She is not going to the mall. Why don't we go to the mall? I'll take her in the car, but on the way we'll stop. Somewhere for five minutes. And that's where we'll convince her. <laughs> Listen, we're doing something wrong just because of a silly bet. Mm. <laughs> when are you coming back, Basil? Look the schedule. We know what your schedule is when you have enough people. What do you ask if you know everything yourself? Come on, get in. What are you stopping for? I have an idea. The final touch, so to speak. Hello. Hello. Let me ask you something. Is your bus the only one that comes here? Yes. Yes? Uh-huh. Do you come here often? As people gather, so yes. Can I make you an offer? Yes. Whatever you charge to come here, I'll give you double. Sure. That's great. If you see me coming with a girl to this bus stop, pay attention. Uh huh. You will pretend to have broken down and fixing it. Uh huh. And you'll fix it while I'm here with her. Then we will leave, and you can go on your way. What about that? All right. Great. For that kind of money, I'm ready to do whatever you want. It's not required. She has to come here somehow. Uh huh. Got it. I'll do it. Okay. At the it is. Yes. See you soon. See you then. Well, what was that? <laughs> There's only one bus here, so I made sure everything was covered. How prudent. What if you want to get rid of this girl as quickly as possible, and Uncle Basil is fixing the bus? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'll think of something. Sophie, why are you standing there? 
Look at all these cool clothes. What's there to see? I'm not going to wear them anyway. You don't need to be intelligent for that. But you can buy one. Look, try it on. I don't want to. Oh, that's so cute. Let me try it. <laughs> not your size. Maybe I will buy one for my sister. Look, she's just your size. Please try it on. It's just Angela, for me. let Lena try it on. She's as tall as you. Let's go. Lena, take this too. Oh, wow. I think this color, it looks so good on you. You have to buy it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, girls, I can't. I'm really sorry. Really? You have a hundred dollars in your pocket. You either lose them or have them stolen from you. Don't be silly. Mm -hmm. uh, Sophie, you will be an old maid. Do you really think that with this and without that, Anyone will fall for you? Do you really think that with nice clothes but no brains, you can find the love of your life? Yes. Then I pity you. And we are for you. And if a person dies without this medicine, how will I feel about that? <sighs> oh, how will I feel about that? <laughs> are you making fun of me? <laughs> Who would know it was so bad? Maybe she's right. It's one thing to have money, but there's a prescription and a note. <gasps> Girls, I don't believe it, really. Everything she said was true. Good, will you please try to stop behaving like sailors now? Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, so look who's here. Finally showed up. Why is Mikey so sad? Because his uncle Gene forgot that he had promised Mikey he would take him to the pet store later today. Did Uncle Gene forget? We told the child you promised. You forgot to tell me. Gene, what's with all the formalities? Is it that hard to take your nephew to the store and buy him a pet? No, I was thinking of taking a holiday. Where? Especially when your fisher mentioned he's quite right. To the country house? You're running away? Please take Mikey with you. He really needs to calm down. <laughs> what did you want to buy, Mikey? I want a dog. Big and shaggy. Just like the ones I've seen on TV, Uncle. No dogs. No big ones. No shaggy ones. Buy a parrot and that's it. Otherwise, you won't go anywhere at all, understand? All right, Mikey, get ready. We'll decide at the mall. Come on, let's go. Hello, I'm Sophie. I'm here for class. Do I get in? What's your hurry, Sophie? You will have time to drive. I don't really have it. <sighs> Come on. What are you waiting for? Don't worry, it's just a training car. You don't have to be nervous. Let's start it up quietly and take it smoothly for two laps. It won't be as hard as you think. Let's go straight on. Slowly. Oh, Sophie, is that soft for you? Huh? Slowly. You have to release the clutch slowly yes, and I then understand. give it some gas. You have to do it slowly, please. Yes, Sophie. George. It's please slow. don't yell at me. I'm, I'm not, not yelling. Stupid. There's just not enough cars for you, Sophie. I just got it out of the workshop. So? Just don't worry about it, all right? All right, all right. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Step on the gas. Yeah. Release the clutch smoothly, and here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That's right. That's it. Whoop. That's it, that's it, that's good. That's it, that's good. That's very good. Answer the wheel, that's it. Well done. 
Very well done, Sophie. Yeah, well done. Good job. Step on it. Yeah, that's it. Let's go, let's go. Okay. George? Yeah? Do you think I can drive out of town? What? Out of town? You will drive where I'm telling you to drive, okay? I just have to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. Steady, steady, Sophie. That's it. <laughs> what are you doing, huh? Why are you stopping all of a sudden, Sophie? What are you doing? I... What? There was a cat. What cat, Sophie? What cat? You're driving, aren't you? I don't have control. I didn't ask you to slow down, huh? That's it, Sophie. We're done. Stay here. You have an F, Sophie. An F, got it? Thank you. I'm out of here. Oh, no. No. I knew it. I knew it. What were you looking at, huh? Where were you looking at? Can you see this is a training car? A training car! You're supposed to keep a mile of distance! I just got it out of the workshop! This is a mess! Excuse me, George, can I leave? What? Go, 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 Sophie! Where the hell are you going? You were the one driving! Get in the car! The cops are coming now, you have to give a statement! And you don't go anywhere! I'm telling you! Where? Well, I can't believe it! Just go and get your papers ready! Huh? <laughs> Why me? Why? Why did you do this to me, Sophie? What? Hello, Lita. Why aren't you answering my calls? I've been calling you. We have nothing to talk about. Are you offended? You should be. I have missed you. I miss you and Mikey. Don't bother. We leave at Jeans and we're fine. Are you coming home? You shouldn't believe me. I feel really bad. Without you. I couldn't sleep at all last night. <laughs> what? And even Lana didn't comfort you? Stop that! It's your fault. Don't you want us to be fine? No. I want to see Mikey. I forbid you to do that. You can't stop me from doing that. So, I'm seeing him right now. Don't bother. Mikey's not home. I know. How? A birdie told me. I called Jean. They went to the pet store. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? Nothing. I just want to see my son, I told you. <laughs> it's beautiful. But you have to take it all off. Why should I? Huh. A rising moon requires sacrifice. <laughs> Wait. You mean you finally decided to introduce me to... If you miss Walters? this chance, I won't forgive you. Okay, Gary, tell me what to do then. You sure? You ready to catch that fish? Gary, I'm ready for anything. Then take off all your brand name clothes. Okay. Remove all makeup from your face. Do a more decent hairstyle. And get a manicure. Are you kidding me? How am I gonna seduce Walters without all this? Here. Your path to a better life. Gary, I don't understand anything. Can you explain it to me I better, please? I hope you'll please? appreciate my exploit someday. For now, I'll tell you a fairy tale in which you become a princess. Open the wallet, study the contents, and listen to me.
There were no dogs in the pet store. I want a doggy! Mikey! I want a doggy! I want a Mikey, doggy! Mikey, you can teach your parrot doggy. to bark. I want a doggy! I really want a doggy! Listen, Mikey. Next time, I'll buy you a dog. Just be patient. No! I want a doggy! Hello, Mikey. What is it that you're doing here? Checking to see if you were being followed. Oh, it's like a spy game. My daddy's going to buy me a dog. If his daddy buys him a dog, then his mother will definitely not leave him on the street. Help me get back with Lyra. Listen, you two made this whole mess. You both need to figure it out, okay? Thank you. Here, hold this parrot. Come on. Take it. Take it, take it. Take your parrot. Take Mikey. I'll take you to Lara right now, so she can fix everything with you. Hmm? Let's go. Mom? Where's Jean? Calm down. I'm afraid that Igor intercepted them and stole Mikey from me. And now he's taking him away. Don't be ridiculous. <sighs> Who is it? Is there something wrong? Don't worry. <sighs> is Jean home? We are also waiting for him. Really? He'll be here soon. Come in. I really need to talk to you. Are you going to the country house for a couple days? Yes. And what's the plan? <sighs> Gary, you know me. You can't keep me quiet, right? Tell me. All questions go to Jean. What, you're going to invite a whole bunch of girls and have a party here, huh? What girls are you talking about? We're going fishing. Uh-huh, it's not yet fishing season, you know that, right? We're just taking a few days off. Uh, a dark story. A very dark story. Martha, Jean is coming. Ask him anything you want. Mm-hmm. Oh, those tight-lipped friends. And I will. You bet I will. Oh, I think he just arrived. He's here. What are you doing here? We... need to talk. I have nothing to talk to you about. <sighs> Give me a try. I don't want to. Let me go! Hey, Gary. It's great that you're already here. So you're planning on going fishing, right? Sounds good. You're always worrying, Mom. We'll be fine. How old do you think I am? I'll wait for you in the car. Goodbye, Martha. See you soon. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <sighs> Mom, don't worry. Everything will be fine. You'll see. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, let's... Let's go. What are they up to? It's a piece of crap, that car. He's never been interested in fishing. Why now? Sophie, hi. Hi. 
It's good that I gave it to you. You had a chance to look at Polly. Mom, why did you do that? Well, he liked you, so I thought... Mom, you're wasting your breath. I didn't like him one bit. Maybe if you hear his no. songs. But will you go to the concert? We promised. God, Mom. I've had a really rough day today. I almost ran over a cat. You don't know this, but I crashed the training car. And now the girls in my class think I'm crazy. And I lost someone else's money. <laughs> Where did you get someone else's money? I found this wallet. There was money and a prescription for a granny. Was it a lot? A hundred dollars, Mom. Oh my God. What will we do? Mom, listen to me. It's a hundred dollars. Where will I get them? We have to return that money. All right. I'll give the money. I've been saving. <sighs> For shoes. No, we'll think of something. You'll see, you don't have to... And the medicine, we have to buy it. We can handle it. Yes. <laughs> Where did you find this junk? <laughs> I rented it. <laughs> you and I are security guards now. Uh-huh. So we must have a car to match. And the clothes should be appropriate. <laughs> Where are we going? To practice. Practice. Picking up girls. <laughs> You've probably forgotten how to do it by now. Yeah, try me. Don't, it's... Easy for Gene Walters to meet girls. You try to get a girl to like you if you're an ordinary security guard, and you're not dressed well, and you have a ugly car. Okay, let's check it out. How? Do you see those girls there? Yeah. Stop next to them. <laughs> really? Come on, come on. Okay, okay. <laughs> Ooh. Hey girls, you're clearly not having a good time. You think? <sighs> Clear your eyes. We would like to invite you to a nice restaurant. That's right. In a nice restaurant. They won't let you into a nice restaurant. They will let us <laughs> in, I promise. Come on girls, it'll be fun. <laughs> Look at you. They won't let you. And go back to your village. <laughs> 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 you see? A little more and you would have started showing your passport. <laughs> so where's Sophie? Sophie's in her room. She's not feeling well. Mm. You know, Irene. Paul liked her so much. <laughs> She's a big deal. It seems to me that they're just right for each other. Are you listening, Irene? Oh, Mary, please forgive me. <laughs> I was rambling. We're in a little trouble, but it's okay. We'll get out of here. What kind of trouble? Tell me about it. We need money for our granny's medicine. For our granny? I don't understand. We don't understand it ourselves, but Sophie found a wallet with money, an address, and a prescription. It says what medicine to buy and where to deliver it. But Sophie lost the money. It's a pity. How much? A hundred dollars. <gasps> Mary, could you lend us the money? I will pay you back very soon, I promise. Irene, are you serious? <laughs> are you going to run around like this? Borrowing money for a granny, you... You don't even know. Are you really gonna do that? Of course. Uh, are you crazy? Look around you. Look what you have. Tell me, do you have any extra money? No. You were an idealist and still are. I won't part with the communists. I'll be young forever. What's wrong with that? Life has changed. It always changes. Now, man is a wolf to man. If you're given something, take it. Take it and run. This is my son's favorite saying. He's a smart boy. You wouldn't believe it. 
Sophie mm. and I don't want to live with that guilt. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Everybody lives this way, and so will you. All right, all right, all right. Let's drink tea. I have no time. Tomorrow will be my son's concert, and I have to prepare his gray suit. Oh, it's delicious. Bruno, try and find out everything that's happening, please. Don't worry, Martha. I will find out. I will look into it and report back to you. Just make sure they don't know they're under surveillance, please. You offend me, Martha, you know? I've given 35 years to the Secret Service. No one has ever busted me yet. That's good. Why don't you leave now? The sooner the better, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, Martha. Everything will be done. Don't worry. It was a bad idea bringing Lara here. After seeing how happy his sister's marriage is, I'm sure he's never going to want to get married now. Linda, I need money. I want to ask you for a loan. Four thousand. Oh, okay, I know. I'm sorry, I understand. Thanks. Good night. Good evening. How are you? Did I disturb you? Ah, I'm glad to hear that. Are you putting your grandson to sleep? Then I'll be quick. Could you lend me four thousand dollars? I'm the one who should apologize for calling you so late. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. Hello? Hello, Ada, darling. How are you? How... how are your kids? How's the little one? What? Did Vicky call you? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm looking for a loan. I've called half of my contacts and no one can. You? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Don't feel guilty about this. A woman who raises three kids without a husband? Stop it. <laughs> She's broke. Are you offended? <laughs> Are you talking seriously? Oh. Oh, my dear, I'm so grateful to you. Thank you so much, Ada. Sophie's coming by tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. She'll be so glad, okay? Thank you, darling. Good night. Hello. Hello. Waiting for Sophie? It is late. I'm worried she's never late. Don't get too <laughs> excited. It's still two minutes until the bell rings. She always comes half an hour early. Did she really go to deliver the wallet to its owner? Mm-hmm. And there she was attacked by angry wolves and took no, her money. Wait. <laughs> and there Sophie awaits her Prince Charming. She'll kiss him, he will love her forever, and live happily ever after. Mm -hmm. That's enough. Let's go, you're being so rude. Let's go. We're witches. <laughs> no, no, no. You're so mean. Let's go. Oh.
оглянись На прощание Удивись Снова, как всегда Результат Твоего внимания Как всегда все идет, как всегда За рулем я в машине сижу Каждый шаг неизвестен, все как тогда На девчонок вчерашних гляжу Бросить все и послать все к чертям Разрулить, что смогу к сентябрю А потом, ну и пусть, загрузить мою грусть Пусть болит, пока я докурю Оглянись на прощание Удивись снова, как всегда, Результат твоего внимания Мне удержать так нелегко, Так поддержи ты меня. Оглянись на прощание, Удивись снова, как всегда, Результат твоего внимания Мне удержать так нелегко Так поддержи ты меня Оглянись на прощание Keep your eyes open. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Hmm. We should have brought a local with us. Someone who can tell us who's an outsider. Yeah, calm down. I have an eye for this, okay? I can tell the villagers from city dwellers. <laughs> it's pretty gloomy outside today, isn't it? I heard it's supposed to rain all day. I hope you clear yourself by the weekend, though. Me too. I don't want to be stuck in the rain. It's such a pain. Let's have a closer look. It's just a bummer being stuck inside all day. This is a bad idea. Excuse me, do you know where Nana Lucy lives? And look at that. Sure, go that straight one? on, then take the, the first street, street left on a She's asking for directions. No. That four eyes and the filthy ripped jeans? Don't you like her? Seriously? <laughs> yeah. I thought she would look different. Well, don't get disappointed. Maybe a prettier girl will come later. I hope so. Should we just give up on this? We let her take the medicine to Nana without showing our faces there. No. We made this mess. And we're going to clean it up. I don't know. Anna Lucy doesn't have to deal with our problems. So come on, let's go. Fine, let's go. Huh? Hello? Hello. Does Jean leave here? I got his wallet. Yes, it's me. Where's the granny? 
that needs sir medicine. Here? I'm sorry, I thought Jean was... Well, never mind. I think I found your wallet. And I brought medicine for your granny. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you, sweet girl. You're a lifesaver. That's okay. It was a huge help. <laughs> it was nothing, really. Uh, well, I'll get this inside, Okay, huh? great. I have to go. So be careful and don't lose anything important. Yeah, thank you. Oh, what's the hurry, darling? Come here for a second and let me thank you for this. Oh, thank God the world is full of good people like you. Because without my medicine, I'd probably be dead nothing. by now. Thank you so much. If it wasn't for you, I don't know what we would have done. There's no hurry, my dear. You can catch another yeah. bus in a few hours. Yeah, come, come inside and let's get acquainted. Here. Oh, yes, okay. Oh, no, my hips are hurt. Oh, be careful, Please watch your step now. And what now? Careful. I'm not sure. Just let them get acquainted. You're right. But we need to watch them closely. Yeah, closely. Exactly. You know what they say. Any port in a storm. <laughs> Something strange is going on here. A party? No. They haven't been at home at all. They were staying with a neighbor. At Nana Lucy's? That's weird. The girl came in. She brought some medicine with her. Why? Is Gene sick or what? No, he's fine. The medicine was for the granny. It sounds more like a conspiracy. Maybe they're drugs. This looks really bad. Keep watching. I'll be right there. Understood. Uh, good afternoon. What an unexpected pleasure. I thought you were fired. Apparently I'm not. Well, it's uh, just a matter of time. You can't go in there. Mr. Eager is not at work, but he will be here You're so a terrible liar. Get out of my way. I told you he's not in there. Mr. Eager is out. I don't care what you're saying, and remember, you will never get my husband. Do you understand? <clears throat> hello, darling. Uh, hello. What's wrong with you? You called me to get back, but you didn't fire your secretary? Huh? What are you hiding? I can see that you're holding something behind your back. I wanted to surprise you, but... Yes, I knew it. Now listen to me! <gasps> you also bring her flowers in baskets! You're a terrible liar, too! Now listen, you nutjob! Don't push me! Don't call me names! <sighs> look at the note. I don't want to. Look at the note! Come on, look at it! Come on! Read it! Don't yell at Just me. Just read it. Well? To my dear Lara Love. Mm -hmm. My beautiful girl. Beautiful. My darling. My one and only. Forever yours, Igor. I truly love you. I love you too. Sorry, I made a mistake, but I was very angry. I missed you so much. Really? So you teach, and you're also learning languages. Mm. Oh, right, Sophie. Yes. Beautiful name, Sophie. Let's oh. sit down. Mm -hmm. oh. There you go. Oh, beautiful name, Sophia. Means wisdom. 
I was named after my grandma. Oh, is your grandma alive? No, she died long ago. Oh, I would be too. I would be dead without my medicine. <laughs> Don't no, say I'm that. No, I'm talking serious. Jim was very worried when he realized he had lost the money. <laughs> it's strange how he could have lost his wallet in our institute. Gary has a friend there, I think. A girl like you. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes. I had this feeling that that the money would come back. <laughs> yeah. Ma'am. Mm. Your grandson. He doesn't live with you, right? Mm. How did you guess? He's from the city, isn't he? It's quite obvious. <laughs> He and Gary work as the security guards in a rich house nearby. And after his shift, he comes and spends some time with me. That's great. So you need someone who helps you here, don't you? Mm. I... Oh, Lucy, would you like to take your medicine? No. Oh. Bring me some water. There's a jar over there. Mm-hmm. Hey, could you hand me a needle and a thread? Thank you. Yes, here you have it. Yeah, them. it's on the cabinet. Mm. Mm. Oh no. This water, it's not fresh anymore. I can buy some water. No, please, tell Jean to uh, get it out of the well. There's a bucket in the hole. He already knows where to find it. Okay. Oh. I'll get you fresh water. Oh, thank you. Hey, Jean. Could you please help me get some water from the well? Nana Lucy is very thirsty. Oh, Sophie. Sophie, I can help you. Let's go. No. No, she asked for me. So let me help you. Did it hit you? Yes. It goes extremely fast. <sighs> this is great. Hey. Those legs would look nice walking down the catwalk. Have it soon been in un Horatio. There is poison in the flattering words. I must say, exe spectaculum dignum. Al quod respiciat intentus operi suo Deus. Hey, 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 English, please. I don't understand. There's a sight worthy of God looking back on as he contemplates his creation. Do all guards. are that fluent in Latin language? Nope. Only the smart wannabes like me. Sophie, no offense, but he's right. It's a crime for a girl like you to wear those sneakers. <laughs> I'm not offended. When I went to the drugstore today earlier, the heel on my shoes broke. That's why I have this on. <laughs> You're like Thumbelina. You lost your crystal shoe. Thumbelina is not the one that loses her shoe. Yeah? And now... Are we supposed 
to know that. We're just two simple guards. Nana, your water is in the kitchen now. Mmm. Well, um, what do you think about her? You don't like this girl at all, do It's you? just, she has really nice legs, but she dresses horribly. I don't like that. Who is she anyways? Oh, I can't believe what I'm hearing. Your 30 years of life haven't taught you anything. What? I didn't say anything wrong. I just don't like her outfit. Well, maybe she can't buy expensive clothes. I don't know. She's a diamond. A diamond. A beautiful and shiny diamond. Please, make sure Jin knows that. Okay. Please. I'll do it. I don't usually lose my things. I take good care of my stuff, but I'm very glad I had the chance to meet you. To be honest, I I enjoyed talking to you too. Where did you study Latin? I went to medical school, but I needed to work, so I quit. I'm also studying and working. Well, I have to go now. Can't you stay a little longer? I'll take you tonight in the owner's car. No, I can't. So I'll walk you to the bus stop, okay? <laughs> thank you. But I know the way. Sophie, thank you so much for coming. Please, let me take you there. Okay. I'll just sew up my jeans. Great. Well, I can see you've made up. <laughs> he fired his secretary. <laughs> well. All right, I'm leaving. What? What? <laughs> but what about Mikey? Are you leaving him alone? Well, you are the parents. <sighs> but we are going to meet some friends. Yes. We need mm. to tell them what a great husband Igor is. <laughs> but only yesterday, you were telling them what an idiot Igor was. Um. <sighs> well, I'm sure everybody already knows that. <laughs> Mikey doesn't want to stay with the nanny. He prefers spending time with his lovely grandmother. We all know he has the, the most, most wonderful, wonderful grandmother. grandmother. Yes, yes, you don't need to say that. Hey, did Jean say something about being sick? No, why? Is he sick? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I was just asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back home in two hours. Yes. <laughs> mm. Why is he taking so long? What in the world is he doing? Warm up the sauna, will you? Why? We're having such a nice weather. Yeah. There's a house around the corner where I work. Yes? Wanna see? No, not really. Don't you want to see how the rich and famous live? No, not really. Unbelievable. You know, I have my own life. And what about their mindset? Well, I have my own mindset, too. Yeah? And what's that? I had to face my destiny with courage. <laughs> Nietzsche. I like that. I wonder where you get that mindset from. Yeah? Tell me, Sophie, how do you think a simple security guard like me learns so much about Nietzsche? I didn't know you were a box full of surprises. I wasn't always a security guard. Oh, interesting. Mm. 
I am still wondering where a beautiful modern student like you gets her, her values from. What values, huh? <laughs> like not stealing? It's not that common to see a student that has that kind of values. And you don't look like a nun. That reminds me. The other day... Did you steal something or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's something strange that happened the other day with a friend and made me think. We were in a coffee shop and saw Walter's car. She went crazy over him. She just stuck her face on the window and stared at him. I'd never been so embarrassed. Didn't you get a look just out of curiosity? No. <laughs> no temptation. For what? Ah, uh, it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame to ruin this masterpiece. I can't be helped. I'm sorry. And who's responsible for this terrible sin? Someone special. What? You heard me. I want you to shorten them as much as possible. It's very important and varnish them. A la naturelle. Okay? All right. Yeah? Where are you? In the salon, shortening my nails. I can't bite them off with my teeth. What? While you're busy getting beautiful, your prey is already being hunted. You're kidding. No. Get over here. Or you lose both your nails and your fiance. Okay, thanks. I'm on my way. <sighs> Listen up. I need you to get this done as soon as possible, please. Well, that won't be easy. But it's okay. I'll do my okay. best. He told me to warn the sauna. How do I do that? I'm really curious about who are you making all these sacrifices for? Look, if everything works out as planned, I'll do well and you will have your part too, okay? This way we'll stay warmer. Hey, are we leaving soon? I'm afraid we're not. The boss broke down. What? So what do we do? Well, I think... that we should probably go home so we can change our clothes. Our clothes? Yes, we will find you... some clothes. I don't know. I don't like the idea. Don't worry, we'll be fine. If not, you'll get sick. My mom will be worried. And she will be even more worried if you get sick. That's fair enough. Let's go. This is all your fault. You should have come earlier. Is the girl pretty? She's hideous. She's nothing at all compared to you. You're gorgeous. Okay, great. But he went to see her. What if he liked her, huh? Don't worry. He's just being polite to her. That's it. Why didn't you buy the medicine? I was busy. Peace. You didn't tell me. I wasn't an obvious. You should have bought it. We'll tell him that... You worked late at the office. Okay, I was working late. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. Is he coming soon? Don't worry. He's here. They're together. What? You told me she was gone. Calm no. down. Take it easy, Veronica. Calm down. I hate this. I've never seen you like this. Look at her and tell me. Can't she compete with you? Don't worry. Maybe I think I need to look more modest. Yeah, maybe. Look, that's better. Can you help me? Yeah, yes. that's perfect. Great, I'm ready to meet him. I'm not nervous. Let's go. Excellent. Go. Yeah, let's go. Sit, Sit down. down. And now breathe okay, out. breathe out. I can't handle this. Don't worry. I'll tell him myself. Okay? okay? All right. Everything's fine. Here. <laughs> oh, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh. 
Hello, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this thunderstorm had rage due to the skin. <laughs> hey, Sophie. Yeah? You can go to the sauna. It's near the sauna? house, and yes, they heated oh, it. Oh, really? Yes, well, I told Gary earlier to warm it up. Oh, okay. I'm going to get you some dry clothes. Yes, thank you so much. Here you go. Thank you, okay. <sighs> Nana, don't worry about the clothes. I'll take care of it. How so? Gary brought a bunch of clothes. Oh. Oh, hey, Jean. I, come with me. I need to tell you something. S sorry, but Sophie's drying off and I'm soaking wet, as you can see, so it's not gonna happen. I'll get changed and I'll be right back. Excuse me. Uh. Darn. I brought you some clothes. I'm off. What happened? Nice job, pretty girl. It's great. Thanks to your stupid nails, everything is messed up. You don't know me. I won't let him get away, you hear me? Good luck with that. Uh, this girl is Veronica. She brought you your wallet. Veronica, what a beautiful name. Here, your wallet. I imagined you needed to buy some um, medicine for your grandmother. Thank you, I really needed the money. You know, I would have bought it myself, but I was working late and pharmacies were already closed, so I couldn't do it. That's okay. Thank you for bringing it back. Well, I'm gonna go get changed. Yeah. Okay. Jean's got a crush on you. You've managed to win this game in the end. Congratulations. You know, I really liked him. I can tell. Your eyes were shining, just like diamonds. And what do we do with her? With Sophie? Uh-huh. Leave it all to me. I'll take her back home, okay? Don't worry about it. Fair enough. Very good. Now she won't get in the way. Thank you, Gary. You're a nice friend. Don't use the friend card on me. Well, okay. Let's talk then. Okay. Come on. Let's get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Great. Nana Lucy, this is Veronica. Hmm.
Well, come on, ladies. Why don't we go to the kitchen and see what we can have? Boys, you stay here and move the chairs and set the table. Oh, <coughs> hurry up, everybody. It's <coughs> starting to get late. <coughs> oh, <After> my. <coughs> Do you like our guests? You mean who do I like the best? Then who? Veronica. She's gorgeous. Sophie as well. <laughs> Veronica's totally in love with you. Her eyes were shining. Yeah, but Sophie knows Latin. But do you ever listen to yourself when you talk? It's weird. She'll use her Latin to torture you. I know she's smart. But also thoughtful. I think... You should give yourself more time to know Veronica. <sighs> Seems to me you already know her very well, right? No, of course not. She's just... let me. She's a nice woman, and a very hard-working lady. She was working late. Where did the honey go? <laughs> I don't eat honey. Makes you gain weight. Mmm. I'll see if the neighbor has a jar. While you my guest, why don't you make some pancakes? Here's the baking soda. Oh, where's the... the flour? And the eggs, yeah. There are some eggs. Oh! Oh, my head hurts. Oh, I can't feel my legs on my back. Oh, oh I feel so sick. If I were you, I wouldn't set my eyes on Jean. Why is that? Because he's mine. Oh, uh, now that you mention it, I haven't even thought of it. Uh, now I kind of feel bad. <laughs> Hilarious. The only thing is, I'm not sure if Jean is yet aware that he's yours, right? <laughs> That's none of your business. You shouldn't care, Sophie. I'll find the way, you understand? <laughs> I'm just wondering how. I would never tell you. Just stop torturing me. Why don't you finish all that and get out of here? You know, I noticed that Nana Lucy really liked Veronica. And Sophie? Um, she seemed to like her, too. I'm only interested in Sophie. She is in some way mysterious. But have you seen the way Veronica looks at you? With love? And Sophie, what about her? She seems to be a well-read, educated girl. But what can you offer being a guard? Latin. Dough um, mm. is very bad for your figure. Hey, wake up. Turn that thing. What's on your mind? Was thinking about tomorrow. <laughs> we should live for today. Thank you so much. I'm off. <sighs> My God, what am I doing here? <sighs> uh, ah, so there's our hostess. Gary, could you tell me how can I get out of here now that there's no bus? You can. Sophie, why don't you stay? I'll be glad if you do. Mm, it's just that I really need to go home or my mother will be worried. Mm, why don't you stay here? It'll be fine. If I do, she'll even get more worried. What if we mm, call for a cab? Cab drivers don't normally like to come here. They uh, charge three times more. Where are you going? Sophie, Sophie, please, I'm begging you. You don't have to leave now. Stay here. Tomorrow we'll go to town and buy you new shoes. You said that your heel was broken. You don't have to buy me anything. 
really see it. I've never said this to anyone before, but you seem to be very empathetic, and that's why I came to you in the first place. We better not bother them. I won't bother anyone. I just want to go home. But you can. Well, in that case, I'll think of something. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now excuse me. <sighs> Whatever you want. Why do you keep looking around? Are you waiting for Walters? <laughs> I'm just sitting here with you. That's all. Uh-huh. It's Sophie. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, hi, Lena. It's me, Sophie. Um, I call because I need your help now. Could you please come get me? I came to return that wallet and... Now I'm stuck here. And there's no bus for now and... And what? I'm sure my mom is worried. I need to go home immediately. Oh, well, Sophie, I'm... You're writing an essay. <laughs> At the library, you know? I'm afraid I don't have time at all. Lena. Um, let me help you write your essay. Yeah? Uh, so what's the address? It's Monino Village. So you won't forget about the essay? No, I won't. Well, girls, I'm gonna get Sophie. I want you to stay here and wait for Walters. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. What if he really comes? Do I tell him you say hi? <laughs> it was thanks to my cow that me and my Pete met. Tell us about that, Nana Lucy. <laughs> there is no much to tell. My cow ran away and he brought her in. I just fell in love. Then you... See him before that? No. He came to our village to work as a vet. I would never fall in love with a veterinarian myself. So which is your style? I want someone handsome, also kind, and of course someone rich. <coughs> <clears throat> but for sure someone who's nevertheless modest. <laughs> so rich and modest. <laughs> oh. oh, that's my cow. She's laughing too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, that's how she asked us to go milk her. I asked my neighbor to do it, but she had to go to town with her kids. Mm. I don't know what to do. Well, I'm terrified of cows. Why well, being scared? You just give her bread and she'll give you the milk. Will she milk herself in that case? Hmm. Well, I've never done it before, but if you tell me how, I can try. Mm, I, I can help you do it. Huh, it's easy. You gently whisper to her ear. And don't pull her others too hard, see? Her name's Spotty. All right. We'll try then. <laughs> Look here! Jean, it's Spotty! Oh, hi there. Hello. I think she wants us to pet her. You think so? <sighs> Just to meet her. Okay, let's try and see. All right, Spotty. Hello, Spotty. Hi, little one. Oh, you're so pretty. Sophie, oh. you're so brave. Do you think so? I'm actually very afraid. Just hope she won't notice. Come on, sweetie. Hey, now little. Now I want to pet her, too. <laughs> Let's do it together. I think we can do it. Just be careful. Oh, oh my god. Uh, oh, she doesn't bite. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good girl. Oh. I think she's a little pissed off that we came in so late to milk her. <laughs> I'll think she'll be fine. Yes? Yes. We promised to do it. And we're brave. No, the brave one is me. <laughs> You're brave. So, come 
going to milk you. Stop, Jean. I think it's very romantic here. How's that? The spot is chewing. Mm -hmm. The stable. The exact place where the most important event took place. Wait, you're being too forward, Jean. Don't you think? Where's your head at? I'm talking about our kiss. Oh. Uh? It's the most important event in my life. Mm -hmm. That's hard to believe. Good evening. Hello. There must be a Sophie Koval here. Yes, she's... Milking a cow. She's doing what? Milking a cow. Who are you? I just came to get her. I think she's in back. Oh, Lena. Thank you for coming. Look, she's my friend Lena. Hello. Unfortunately, I have to go home. So, Sophie, don't leave. We'll give your friend tea and pancakes if she wants to. She can stay. <laughs> my mother's waiting. But thank you anyway. No. Over my dead body. So... Sophie, isn't that Walters? Jean Walters? Прощание, удивись, снова как всегда Результат твоего внимания мне удержать так... Как всегда все идет, как всегда За рулем я в машине сижу Каждый шаг неизвестен, все как тогда На девчонок вчерашних гляжу Бросить все и послать все к чертям Разрулить, что смогу к сентябрю А потом, ну и пусть, загрузить мою грусть Пусть болит, пока я докурю Оглянись на прощание Удивись снова, как всегда Результат твоего внимания Мне удержать так нелегко Так поддержи ты меня Оглянись на прощание Удивись снова, как всегда Результат твоего внимания Мне удержать так нелегко, так поддержи ты меня. Оглянись на прощание. Софи из Уолтерс. Джин Уолтерс. And who's Jean Walters? Hmm? It's Jean Walters, the millionaire, Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> Lena, you always see Jean Walters everywhere. Really, are you kidding me, guys? Lena, Lena, let's let's go inside. I'll show you how my friend Jean Rudin lives. You won't believe it. Who? My friend, Jean Rudin. <laughs> let's go. Oh my goodness. 
You know I feel especially sorry for Audrey, the one whose father is a great coronel. Oh, what a promising girl she was. Uh, I forgot her name, you know? The one who lives downtown. Oh, she's got such a pretentious mother. She's after her daughter like a fragile vase. Don't you worry, baby. I'll find you a better bride. You'll see. <sighs> and she, our Cinderella, what do we do with her? Sophie. Don't worry about her. She will be our plan B. Mm-hmm. She didn't even come to my concerts. She's a hard worker, just like her mother. Also naughty, just like her mother. I'll put her here. <clears throat> just in case. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hello? Good evening. It's Sophie's mother. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello, darling. How are you? I was just thinking about you, and you know what? We were just talking about Sophie. About what a good girl she is. <laughs> By the way, my... You'll regret it, Irene. You and your lovely daughter, Sophie. It will be too late. <sighs> Let's forget about them. <sighs> I can't believe it. We have a very different outlook in life. <laughs> Their principles are different. Let them marry these principles. Yes, Mom. <laughs> you have found me only silly girlfriends. <laughs> Thank you for your affection. Thank you. Did I hit you hard? I'm sorry. Did it hurt? I'm sorry, son. I love you. You are... my boy. Why are you talking to me like that? I've told you a hundred times to stay out of my way. But don't be offended. Are you mad at me? I'll find you a better girlfriend. And not like that bookworm. Her loss. You'll be fine, baby. Tell me. Are you really Jean Walters? Why is everybody obsessed with this Walters? Because the girl say is the handsome richest man. Do you like him? Me? <sighs> Why? It's just all my classmates dream about him all the time. Sophie. Forget about them. Hmm? Come here. Jean. Come. Jean, what are you doing? We like each other, am I wrong? Jean, let me go at once. Sophie, come on. Jean, let me go, it's please. Okay. You'll I don't be want fine. to. Everything's gonna be. <sighs> You're acting weird, Sophie. Maybe I am. Sophie. Sophie! <laughs> it's not easy when you're not a Walters. Definitely not easy, but I'm liking it. I told you, you're wrong, Lena. What kind of millionaire is Gene? Mm. <laughs> he works as a security guard and lives with his granny in this shack. Look around you. He looks similar. Maybe he has a millionaire twin. You're probably confusing them. <laughs> what is Sophie doing here? Um, you see, Jean the slob lost the money. I know that story.
She likes Sophie. Mm -hmm. But I would have liked Sophie to leave. Why is that? I prefer Veronica as Jean's partner. <laughs> so, take your little friend and go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll see how well everything goes, right? Yeah. Come on, come on, Lucy. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go. Sit down. There you go. Let me say goodbye to Sophie, huh? I used to be a fast girl when I was young, but now I crawl like a turtle. It's not easy to be me. Yeah, okay. Thank you for your help. Let me get Jean and Gary. They'll help you, all right? Okay, let me get them. Don't. Don't call anyone. We can handle ourselves. You're a good girl. You're going to fix my pillow, Your pillow, your right? pillow. Of course, yeah. All right, lie down here. Oh, oh, okay, oh, there you go. Hold on, can you get my medicine Yeah, the, the medicine, table, the medicine, please. of course. Let me see. Uh, oh, here it is. Oh, you're very okay, kind. here you go. I'll be right back. Veronica, okay. what a nice yeah, girl yeah, you okay. are. Veronica, you're such a good girl. Veronica, you're a good girl. A good girl. You're a good girl, Veronica. Why are you so lonely? I'm looking at the stars. You know, I would stand with you all my life and look at the stars. Nothing. I'm sorry, Veronica. I'm having problems. I have to go. Why are you sad? I ruined my relationship with Sophie. And probably with Veronica, too. It's okay. understand anything what should I understand Lena do you know who you just met Lena please don't tell me again that it's Jean Walters so he's Jean Walters how could you not realize that don't you see <sighs> Lena he can be anyone but not Jean Walters anyway I really want to go home please take me home What's wrong? I can't find a key. <sighs> can't you remember where you left them? I don't know, maybe it fell out of my pocket. <sighs> I'll look for them outside. Mm -hmm. It 
That's my mom. Isn't she a little overprotective? No. I just don't want her to worry. So answer it. What am I going to tell her? What am I doing here at this hour? It's better if I explain that at home. What happened? Uh, I lost my key. Where did you lose them? I don't know. Somewhere. So, my son really is looking for a bride. Without me. <laughs> I offered him so many candidates. And you found so much information about them, but he decided all by himself. What does he see in her? They look... happy. And then what happened? There are two more girls. I understand they are other candidates. I can't believe it. My son is really looking for a wife without me. That is why I inform you. All right, Bruno. Find out who they are. We need to know who these girls are. I understand. I will, Martha. Everything will be done. I understand you want to leave. I can help you with that. Thank you. I have a car nearby. I can take you to the nearest highway and you can hitch a ride. I'll lend you money. Thank you. You're welcome. Just between us, Sophie, okay? Girls, where are you going? We'll be right back. What is going on? I don't understand anything. But I think they're up to something. <laughs> Alina, do you know where they're going? Veronica decided to give Sophie a ride. Meaning? You don't get it. She decided to get rid of a rival. How silly. <sighs> Let's go, Sophie. Veronica, wait. I need to talk to Jean. <laughs> you didn't understand anything? What do you mean? You must think you've accomplished a feat. Returned the money and bought the medicine. I don't consider it a feat. It's all fake. The dying Nana Lucy, the heartwarming story with the wallet and the lost money. That's their game. They're bored, you know? And you silly girl believed it. And here's Jean Walters, the millionaire. The womanizer, the most enviable fiance. Go home, Sophie. You're embarrassing yourself. <sighs> Lena told me about it. But I didn't believe her. You can ask him yourself, here he comes. He's... so mean. Of course he's mean. 
They must have laughed at you. How did he get there? I knew what I was getting into. I want a different life, you know? It's hard. I'll do anything for that. Just don't... Give me away, okay? Please don't. Good luck. Please forgive me, I'm an idiot. I must have forgotten how to talk to girls, or maybe never knew. Don't go, Sophie, please. I'm very glad you had so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Did I meet your expectations? Disappoint you. What do you mean? It must be cool. Making fun of someone who doesn't even know it. To pity them. in you. It's funny, isn't it? What's funny? Ask Jean. Walters. The security guard's so funny. So that's why. Calm down. Thanks to Lena. For warning me. Lena. I see. girl you are. You have to know your opponents by name. <laughs> Lives in the most prestigious neighborhood. Take off your makeup, take off your manicure, get the grandest medicine. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to Walters. She doesn't stop. So what? Ugh, oh. I can't stand it. My ears can't take this. <sighs> Jean is looking for a bride without me. <laughs> Mom, Jean is 30. He can handle himself. Look at this. Oof. She dresses terribly. Shut up, parrot! I can't stand it. I'm looking for an excuse to go there. Mom, don't go there. <sighs> this girl will never get Jean. Unless, of course, he wants to. What if he wants to? If he does, what can you do? Be patient and wait. He's not gelling for Jean. <laughs> Sophie. 
Sophie, wait. Let me explain it to you. Uh. Stop it. Stop lying. I already know the story of the wallet and Anna Lucy. That's it. I don't want to hear anymore. What do you want? What do you want? To get away from here. Forget you, Nana Lucy, and this village. Do you want to leave? Come on. Okay, I got a car here. Let's go. Let me go. You want to know the truth? Okay, I'll tell you. I have a huge house, and I have a lot of cars. I have so much money, I have nowhere to enough. put it. What's enough? You've listened to others. Now listen to me, Sophie. Others have already told me many things about you. Forget me. Don't ever come near me again. Good luck! Take your stuff and get out of here! Have you lost your mind? You'll never see Walters again, don't you get it? Oh, that's it! You're just the same! You know what? You got no business here, okay? Oh, get out of here. So you and your Sophie. Sophie. You're Sophie. Tell Shout me it now. Out. I can hear Tell you, me sweetheart. Can you hear me, sweetheart? He will never oh. be yours. Oh, they forgot to ask you. You hear me? Get out of here. I've protected my gene from what such fools here. What are you talking here. about? That's Sophie's it. I can hear you. you. God, Repeat what you the way you said. I can hear you. So vulgar. Oh, why are you still here? Why don't you just go already? Come on, tell me. Shut up and tell me where she is. Do you what need help you... getting out? Oh, I'm so done talking to you, honey. Where is Sophie? She went home. Oh, uh, I understand. You made her leave, <sighs> haven't you? I see you're feeling better now, Nana Lucy. My eyes wouldn't look in your direction. Hey, where are you taking me? Hey, I'm coming. My dear Lena, thank you for being so truthful now. You have to find your keys and get out of here right now. Jean, I'm sorry. I don't care, just leave. I already knew all about you. Well, she didn't. She just guessed. Huh? You are a liar. Did you come for your friend? Yes. Then go get her. She hasn't gone far. <laughs> I really need some rest. My heart is getting heavy from all these adventures of yours. Did you tell her everything? Jean is furious now. What did you want me to do? Lena did all this. Wait. This could work. You're now the only candidate. You don't have any more competition. Wouldn't that be a good thing? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, hold on. Keep your bag. instructions and you'll be fine okay what should we do now change the story you now know that Walters is rich but I already Don't knew interrupt. that now you're going to praise him act on the contrast Sophie is offended for lying and you understand everything you understand how hard it is for him to find a girl who loves him and not his money which is the only reason he came up with that wallet story is a liar too. She already knew you were a rich man. Gary told him what your plan was. It's a conspiracy, be careful.
Jean. You did the right thing. I really understand. <laughs> you are a brat. Huh? I don't know what you mean. You betrayed me. It's very painful when your best friend betrays you. Tell me, what were you missing? Why did you bring me this woman? Sit down. Jean. Believe me, I meant well. Everyone knows what's best for me. Now I understand how Sophie felt being fooled by this stupid plan. And I don't even know where to find her. You'll find her. After all, she's not a needle in a haystack. Gary, please leave. Take your friend and get out of here. Jean, I, I really understand Just you. shut up. It's over already. I'm sorry. Everyone knows what's best for me. Now I understand how Sophie felt being fooled by this stupid plan. You missed your chance, my dear Jean. But it's okay. Everything will be all right. I'll make up a bed for you. Get some rest. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> she doesn't even look at us. Walters is touring all the institutes, looking for someone. <laughs> He's looking for Sophie, it's obvious. <laughs> And she doesn't even care. How could she have been so lucky? Why didn't I find the wallet? <laughs> Don't whine. You would have spent the money. Me? Uh huh? I promise, next time I will deliver all the wallets I can find. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Sophie? Hello, darling. Hi, Mom. What's going on? After you came with all this thing about this imaginary granny, you no longer smile. Mama? Yes? I'm in love with this. Jean Guy. Oh my God. My poor girl. That happened, Sophie. People fall in love with scoundrels. It's okay. It's okay, believe me. This feeling can be fought yes. and conquered. Thanks, Mom. I have to go to work now. Did you find someone to teach already? No, Mom. I got a job at the Institute cleaning the floors in the classrooms.
Hey, Mom. Hello, Jean. Why are you so sad? What's going on? I just... Mm, don't feel good. But you just went fishing. And you haven't smiled since. Do you really miss fishing that much? How well do you know me? I met a nice girl. Oh. And I immediately lost her. Because I acted like an idiot. Do you want to find her? Are you sure? Mom, if I ever wanted something 100% in my life, this must be it. I'm sure of it. It's not that difficult, you know, to find a person in this town. And even if I find her, she will not forgive me. <laughs> I've never seen you so confused before, Jean. You didn't say anything bad to her, did you? I'm trying to understand what's going on. I said too much and I acted like a fool. Listen, what do they call it? Time out? Go home. It'll be better in the morning. Yes. Sofia Koval, 23 years old, a student of Romano-Germanic philology, an excellent student. And who is her family? Girl is from a good, decent family. Her mother is a teacher. Uh, father died five years ago. He was also a teacher. They have a modest life. Mm. And how did you find her? She's the one who found him. Is she a gold digger? Doesn't look like it. Uh, I inform you, Martha. She found the wallet and bought the medicines. The ones for the grandmother. What else? Uh, Jean is looking for Sophie in every institute in the city. How about that? He got hooked on that girl, huh? Doesn't she want to meet him at all? It's impossible, Martha. She's working. Starting at night, she cleans, dains it to floors. Does she need the money? Um, she found the wallet, the one that Jean planted, but the money, uh, it was stolen. To buy medicine for the imaginary granny, she borrowed money, and now she's paying for it. You're not making this up, are you, Bruno? No. Okay. The girl seems to have a character. That's right. Do you think we could help? Well, do it discreetly, without, without her noticing or finding out. Oh, nothing is impossible, Martha. I have a plan. Hurry up, spit it out. Uh, listen, she had her driving lessons paid for in advance. And now she doesn't go. She has no time. We can get her money back. Today I'm going with you to mop the floors. Mom, don't. I can handle it. You're coming home after midnight. Together we'll get through it faster. Mom, you can't bend over. You have high blood don't pressure. Don't argue with me. I've made up my mind. Hello? Hello, I'm waiting you for his driving lessons. I'm sorry, George. The thing is, I just haven't had the time. You don't have time? But the classes have already been paid. So, I lost the money? No, but I have to make it up to you. So I'm telling you, you have to come back. Who ordered it? Who? The boss did. Mm. Good. Thank you. Mom? Yes? A miracle. What? I got my money back from the classes. <gasps> That's great, honey. We need them so much now. <sighs> I 
I'm sorry you had to come all this way, George. Take it all away. <sighs> Sophie, my child, what is it? Please answer me, I'm so worried. What happened? She said no, didn't she? Yes. What did you say to her? Mom, don't torture me. I told her everything. Asked her for forgiveness and asked her to marry me. Son, I'm sorry. Did you tell her you loved her? Sophie. Jean, what are you doing? Get up. Sophie, please forgive me. Jean, people are watching. I will stand here until nightfall, until you forgive me. Jean, I beg you. Sophie, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I've been looking for you so long. All my life. I'm afraid of losing you. I love you. Be my wife.
Is that a no? It's a yes. I love you, Sophie.